Hey there, welcome to another video and today we gonna talk about how Peacemaker, the single DC show that seems to be much better than one year of Disney plus Marvel content. And the reason is very simple, this show is entertaining while well, most of the Marvel show has been a bit of a bore fest to be honest. The real reason is the story and the writing of this show. Primarily, it is one of the better ones in the DCEU. All the DCEU movies either suffer from bad writing or a boring story. Don't believe me? Just was a save Martha memes and you will know how bad their writing could get. And that's the reason Marvel was rocking at the box office and DC was failing. But after the release of the James Gunn's Suicide Squad, all my perception changed. Like the story is pretty simple but the writing for the characters were on point. We even end up feeling sad for the huge starfish just by a single line of dialogue and Peacemaker is no different and this show is pretty good. The story mainly focuses about the spec op team where Peacemaker joins to fight and bring down the butterflies Well, we all know James Gunn is pretty good at making a team of misfits. He did that in Guardians of the Galaxy and it is one of the better Marvel movies. The quality of writing of this show is pretty high. This makes us feel for all the main characters and then there are the setup and payoff. Some characters or some dialogues by some characters that seem like useless but comes up later and connects the show. Then there is the power dynamic. No man is like super powerful. So John Cena is at big physical power but his mental and daddy issues that makes him not weak to be honest. Then the team Adebayo and Iganamas are not field agents and they couldn't kill while more than hardcore Hardcore are good with guns, but Marn has a dark secret. Then we have Vigilante. He is like Peacemaker, but more quirky and ruthless. Sort of like a Deadpool character, to be honest. And I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who thinks like that. The other characters, like Peacemaker's dad, even he gets more development in less time than most other characters in the other DC movies. Now, if you see Disney Plus shows, the power dynamic doesn't exist, making it not that interesting or not that much of stakes. So WandaVision was okay but the stakes were all for just Wanda. If you like her then you will be interested. Else nah, I don't care. And Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Writing was all over the place and Loki was 6 episodes long and only 2 of them made progress for the real story. Rest were more or less filler. And Hawkeye. The less I talk about it, the better it is. And for Peacemaker, this is much better than those Disney crap. So Peacemaker released first three episodes together which gave us more time with the characters and like them, like them more. And then every episode ends with a bit like episode 3 ended with a revelation of Butterfly taking over the world and the project Butterfly was really about butterflies and episode 4 ends with a teammate shown to be a butterfly and that was interesting and was supposed to hook us in and they mostly did it. Now this was done to make us eagerly wait for the next episode and it sort of works out. Now James Gunn's humor, that is something which I have a bit of problem because it is sometimes it goes on and on and on but still if you like it then you would definitely like this show. Now with the R rating, James Gunn got to open his arms and having the gore and some jokes which he couldn't have done in any Marvel movie but he did here and after seeing this I really wanna see a Deadpool movie directed or written by James Gunn that would be interesting. Anyway that's all for today's video and it's already getting bigger so don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at D-R-A-G-O-N-E-M 420. Check my other video on the screen.